Hey guys, what's plotting? Signum. Okay, it's day two back at ESEM. Let's turn on the rig. Still need a name for this, guys. What are we calling this rig? Um, you can see AC just comes on. I've set it on in the bars. Let's, uh, yeah, let's boot up. Start the plot. I need to get connected to the hub. We can check that cable coming out there. Comes over here. Follow this thing. Follow this thing. There you go. Plug this into my PC. Doing some drive repair. Wonder what was happening there. We'll just do a, a smart disc checker to see how the health of these drives are. Is it a six or is it a nine? Is it a six or is it a nine? Is it a six? Hey, it's still doing, still doing this disc scan here. Eighty-three percent. Almost done. Okay, so the machine's booted up into Windows. And I could survive with a keyboard, but I don't have a mouse. So let's go find one of those. Find a mouse. It's working. And I'll check, bro. Yeah. Nice stress. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it looks like the cable's at the Oh, well, let's try, bro. Yeah. We won't know if we don't try. There's another one under there. Check, there's all sorts of stuff here, bro. And the crazy thing, the replacement value of this is, is like hundreds yeah. of rands. But like, you can't, you know. Yeah. Check there, I mean a cell phone charger, some of them you pay 200 bucks. Bro. That's a Let me try this, bro. you carry on doing what you're doing, don't stress. Yeah, yeah, no, let me have a look to you, because need to keep one. Okay, cool bro. Yeah, okay, this mouse doesn't work. Yeah, it's not working. Look your old ball mouse, bro. where do you find this shit? Yeah, Rollerball. And it's PS2, check here. Also green, my favorite color. Let's take this thing, bro. It's an OG, bro. I bet you there's some lighties that haven't even seen a port like this, bro. <laughs> okay, cool. So we got our uh, PS2 green mouse and uh, yeah, let's put it in. goes into the green port here. See what I was meaning about Legos? You can't really get it wrong. See, it can only go one way. And it even, it's got a picture of a mouse there. So if anybody has any fears getting into Signum and building rigs, it's really, it's like Legos, just bigger. It's not, um picking up anything but I think PS2 is not plug and play so let me restart the machine we want to um, restart not shut down there's the restart switch cool so we're up and running check our mouse is working let's um let's be brave and install OBS so we can see what we're doing on the screen so I'm just going to um, download a program called OBS, it's uh, Open Broadcasting Software. It means we can record our computer screen, you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, let me just um, load up the website. As I'm back on the phone here, this one drive has gotten up to 51 degrees. It's this drive here, it's quite hot. So what I'm going to do is just install the little fan here and we're going to put the side panel on just to create some vacuum in the case and see if it helps. Here we go, here's a fan. My greatest fan. Okay, we sorted. Here we go, let's get this out. Guys, found a great fan. 0.2 amps, so it doesn't use too much electricity. 12 times 0.2 is how much? I need to go back to school, guys. 
it's like yo this is hard math okay so if we had to okay never mind and it's got a header yeah found a great fan guys this looks like good quality gigabyte they make quality products you can also tell by fans with the shape of the blades generally if the blades overlap like that it creates more vacuum in the case um, this is a higher quality fan it's not going to just uh, create airflow it's also going to create a vacuum so generally you can tell from the angle of the blades which way it spins it's obvious that it spins this way and what happens it's going to blow down so the air is going to go that way you can also double check by looking around the perimeter of the fan generally they have an arrow on it Let's see if we can find it there's the arrow can you see it so it's facing downwards do you see the down arrow there just move this cable out the way do you see the down arrow there See the down arrow there so the wind or the air blows down so we're going to mount this like that so the air is going to blow downwards so we're going to mount it like that because we want air blowing in there hasn't been any real change since i've installed that fan it's still on 51 degrees um, it's not an unusually hot day today either and this is an air conditioned room so yeah, we, we definitely need some in, uh, airflow. So I've installed the, the fan. It's going to spin through there. And yeah, I'm going to connect it to the motherboard header when the machine's off. So let's just shut down. I'm going to shut down quickly and plug in the fan. So I've installed the fan. You can see cable management over here. And then I plugged it onto the system fan header over there. So yeah, let's turn it on, see if it makes much of a difference. You can see it's not spinning very fast, which is great. Just a little bit of airflow, just so I can push some air through and get rid of all this hot air. There's also, um, yeah, allowing more space between because like the heat, con you know, gets congested here. So just having a little bit of airflow to push the heat away is very helpful. Um, so let's see if this has made a big difference to that that 51 drive. And that was just idling, eh? that, that drive isn't being mined off of yet, or plotted to, and it was 51 degrees. Okay, cool, so the slow spinning 0.2 amp fan has uh, dropped the temperature by 6 degrees centigrade. Um, I'd be interested to see if it drops a bit lower once we put the side panel on and there's more vacuum in this case. So I'm going to try that now. Cool, I've just been letting this drive idle with the fan and it's come down to 40 degrees, very happy with it. So I think 40 degrees for hard drive temperature is acceptable. Anything above 40 degrees, got to sort out your coolant. Side panel back on, let's turn on the machine again. Um, just bear with me, I'm so dyslexic I swap everything. So what I meant is the fans blowing in will create more pressure in the case, not a vacuum. Vacuum's the opposite of a pressure. Now, you can see this fan's facing the other way around. So this will be an extractor. So you can choose two ways. There's obviously intake and outlet. Um, if you're having fans sucking out of your case, that'll create more of a vacuum. If you have fans blowing in, that's gonna create more pressure. So maybe an idea, because hot air rises, is have all the fans blowing in so it comes out the top. Um, but we can work on like cooling and stuff. I don't think uh, proof of capacity is as hot or um, you know power consumption is a lot lower than um, proof of work I put the setup on the floor it's a bit cooler down there obviously dust is a concern but um, yeah look at this we've gone from 50 what is it 51 down to 29 um, so even yeah putting the case on creating that uh, bit of a vacuum and pressure is has helped clearly so very happy about that um i need to get going now now so what i'm going to do is just make sure this thing's on and we can log in remotely a bit later so here we go we set up the signal miner it's busy plotting once the first plot's done we can start mining and here's the guy behind the whole operations jamie you do a left hand there how are you doing jamie's been involved in electronic uh, recycling for quite some time 
How long have you been involved in the industry? Uh, going on 15 years now. 15 years, yeah. oh, decade and a half, wow. Mm. And uh, during your time, have you seen, what have you seen in e-waste, just uh, as a whole? Um, well, it's, it's, it's a very complex waste stream, you know, you, you want to, you know, if you want to do it, do it diligently and compliantly, you know, there's a lot of um, hazard, potentially hazardous components that you're dealing with when you're doing the pre-processing. Um, so we try and try and look more at solutions in terms of reuse, repurposing, mm. refurbishment, and wow. you know, re recycling is like the last chain of cust part of the chain of custody that we that we uh, look into um, but yeah I mean lo logistics like with any waste um, stream is a bit of a bit of an issue okay. yeah, so I'm hoping that what gets unlocked with um, you know this, this this venture into blockchain and understanding crypto a little bit more like hopefully it buffers a little bit the expenses that we have when it comes to um, the logistical cost of operations and stuff like that you know so nice to hear that you guys are reusing and trying to hold the bottom line um, uh, Signum the crypto we set up for you does that it uses free hard drive space and everybody can afford to have some free hard drive space it's not like uh, you have to get an extra GPU or mana or anything like that no, so yeah yeah they're yeah. really um, excited to set this up and just in terms of maybe getting some passive uh, income, what we can do is the drives that you do get in from e-waste, we can plot and mine so long. And then if customers want those drives, they can we can just uh, you know uh, move them on and then like as they come in, circulate them like that. One hundred percent. What other th things are you looking for out of crypto, and and what would you like to see just in the space in terms of holding the bottom line and education? Um, well, uh, I mean, we, we've had a few discussions, you know, regarding, um, you know, possible development of a token-based kind of system that might be an alternative to the current regulations, uh, the EPR, the Extended Producer Responsibility um, Program that they've implemented, um, just doesn't really work the way it's supposed to work, um, and I think you know, if we really look properly into the blockchain and, and um, you know, unlock that potential, um, there's, a, there, there, there's a possibility of, of finding a way to have complete accountability and onus on the service provider as well as the manufacturer as well as the consumer to find value in a waste stream, you know, by way of the crypto um, as that's happening at the moment you know so okay perfect so let what i'll do there's a lot of like people that are quite high up in crypto that i know i'd like to consult with them and just like with your plans so we basically want to find a way how we can tokenize waste basically, and pin yeah. it to a, a token or even maybe make a crypto for waste i think that would be a really good idea okay well shot man cheers bro and okay. thanks for all your kindness and paying it forwards and all that no, black bro cheers out Signum!